was delayed. It was harder to get rid of Zygnith than I thought it would be. Now, what were we talking about? Oh, I remember. Before my people will even listen to you, you need to perform an honor deed. It has to be an act that benefits my clan. Something they would expect one of us to be able to accomplish. To really make an impression, you need to hurt the Lamias. Kill them, burn their eggs, and defeat their champion. Even our strongest warriors haven't been able to accomplish that. Do these things, and that should be enough to get you an audience. The Shadow Walkers are always watching. If they see you inflicting pain and suffering on the Lamias, they'll take notice. Cause enough chaos and defeat the Lamia champion. That should make my clan invite you in with open arms.
clan's attention, nothing will. Now let's get the head of the champion and get out of here. Return to the camp where your friend was killed. There's a portal stone there that we can use to reach the council. This is the outsider that Foranil has been dragging around the forest. Interesting. lucky outsider. The only thing keeping me from sticking my knife in you right now is our code. But if you think I'm going to help you, think again. expecting any of the Shadow Walkers to be here. They haven't attacked yet, so that's a good sign. Just don't do anything to make them nervous, all right? Well, I told you that killing Lamias would get their attention. You performed an honor deed. They respect that. Hopefully that respect will last long enough for you to help me before they decide to kill you. You stay here. I'll go see the council and give them the Lamia's head. That should be all the incentive they need to agree to listen to you. In the meantime, talk to the Wood Elves here. Any information you gain is just another arrow in your quiver. I'll return shortly. You'll be safe here, I promise. Why not get to know a few of these Shadow Walkers while I'm gone? 
Faranil is like a sister to me. I always convinced her to give up her foolish plan, and then you showed up. Well, since you made it this far, we might as well try it her way. I guess any chance, no matter how remote, was worth the trouble. I hope I don't live to regret this. Inril is the oldest member of the Council. She's also the most willing to listen. But you have to show her some respect. Let her speak. Respond only when spoken to. That's all I can think of. Hope it helps. You don't look tough enough to have beaten the Lamia champion. But even a mighty storm starts with a light breeze. Still, an honor deed is an honor deed. Maybe the Council of Elders will actually agree to meet with you. I'm not sure I should help you, but you seem to be on Farnil's good side. Maybe if I give you some advice, I'll get on her good side too. I recommend you try a little humor when you talk to Erthor. He's a dry old leaf, but he does like to laugh. I don't remember the last time I talked to an outsider. Killed one, sure, I do that all the time. But talk, that's a new one for me. I was born and bred in these woods, never ventured outside its borders. Always wonder what was out there. You're lucky, outsider. The only thing... Good news. The Council has agreed to meet with you. The Council will see you. But this won't be easy. You have one chance to convince them, so make sure you put your best foot forward. My people, our future, depends on it. We can't continue to be prisoners in our own forest. Dealing with the Council can be tricky. It's a collection of individuals, each with his or her own idiosyncrasies. They are devoted to Molag Baal and our oath of servitude. It won't be easy to convince them to break those ancient promises. You can't fail. You just can't. Were the Shadow Walkers down here helpful? Do you need to talk to them again? When you're ready, just use the portal behind me. Present a good argument and make it count. This is a great privilege allowing you to stand here. Never before has an outsider been permitted to set foot on this platform. My daughter, however, was insistent that we speak with you. We shall hear what you have to say. Yes, we have sworn to protect the passage that leads to the tower known as the Lightless Oubliette. In exchange, we have been given the gift of shadow walking. When our contract is fulfilled, the Daedric Prince shall send us back to Valenwood. Well, yes, we still await our day of release. Hundreds of years, however, do not mean much in a place where lives are measured in eternity. What makes you think Molag Ball will break our agreement? You have a wit about you, and your words have given me much to consider. Have a care, though. Phelanwood was once my home. Speak to the other elders while I think about this. You have accomplished much, Outsider. Survived the moonless walk, performed an honored deed. Well done. I shall listen to your words and consider them with great respect. I promise you this much, at least. Now, tell me, why are you here? You must understand. To simply accept the word of an Outsider, to turn our backs on everything we believe. You ask much, stranger. Still, Farenial has been insistent about the very same concern. Tell me something to sway my opinion. This news disturbs me. Thank you for sharing this information with us. Speak to the other elders while I consider what you've said. Spew forth your lies and be quick about it. I have a great many things to contemplate today. That annoying Farnil has convinced you of her fables, hasn't she? I tire of this old argument. But you did perform an honor deed. I shall give you one chance to convince me that we are being duped. Go ahead.
I do not give a damn about your respect. What does the opinion of an outsider matter to me? I just want the truth. I have listened to your words as the honor deed demanded. Now go away and leave me be. You poor child. Dealing with those disgusting Lamias as you navigated the moonless walk must have been so unnerving. Such horrible creatures. Now, sad little Farnil mentioned that you bring us news from Nern. What is it? Such terrible news. But how could I know that what you say is true? It makes no sense. Why would Morlog Ball destroy our beautiful and beloved Valenwood? Poor animals that roam the Valenwood, the people. I. I shall consider what you have told me and pray for an end to the pain and suffering. Thank you for sharing this news with me. We have heard enough. Use the portal and return to my daughter's side. You have given us much to discuss, outsider. You're back. Tell me everything. Did it go well? Were you able to convince them? Of course they are. That's what the Council does. Sometimes I think that's all they ever do. But do you think they're going to help you? Of course you did. I know you did. Now we just have to wait. Ah, someone's stepping through the portal now. Here comes the Council. Outsider, step forth and hear the decision of the Council of Elders. The Council has discussed what you told us, debated your words from every angle, even drew upon Farineel's arguments from past meetings. Understand that we did not reach our decision lightly. The Council can no longer ignore the truth happening around us. For too long we obeyed our vows and waited for a reward that will never be granted. Should we continue on our path, even after Valenwood is destroyed? It means that your argument has convinced us. I sent runners to unlock the ruined passage that leads to the tower. My daughter said that you were interested in the place. I will also send a group of soldiers to aid you against Molag Ball. What did my father say? Did you convince them? Yes, you did it! You really did it! I've tried for so long to convince them, and now we can finally leave this wretched place. I can look upon a real sky! What did my father tell you to do? When the Council finally makes a decision, they act with speed and certainty. I suggest you head for the door to the Ruined Passage as quickly as you can. I'm going to talk to my father. I want to be a part of the group we send to help you.
You will need it to free me from my bonds. I have waited for centuries. And waited and waited. Do you know how boring that can be? But now, you are here. Just as Meridia foretold. The Radiant One knows many things. She knew that one day the city she plunged into Cold Harbor would serve her purpose. At first, she thought I would fulfill that prophecy. But I failed. And now, I need your help. Have no fear. I am as alive as you are. Molag Baal has preserved me so that I can endure his endless tortures. His cruelty knows no bounds. I can't slip free of this lightless oubliette, but I have managed to send my projection to meet you. I knew you were the one I was waiting for. Molag Baal locked me away for a reason. He fears me. Once you set me free, we can make him regret the day he made us his enemies. You carried I knew. You made it this far, just as I had predicted. I am glad to see that my calculations were not in error. Now, if you are ready, we have a prison to break out of. I was captured shortly after Meridia pushed her city into this dread realm. This prison relies on darkness. Early on, I almost broke free. Now, Molog Baal shapes the darkness itself to bind me. Suppressing my attempts to escape. Molag Baal has trapped me within a pillar of darkness, infused with his own vile energy and powered by the light of Meridia. That, however, will be his undoing. The light of Meridia can also banish this darkness, but you have to bring it to me. To reach me, you must first unlock the prison door. Molag Baal uses crystallized darkness to hold me and suppress my power. Move the crystals from their locations to the prison door, and the way shall be opened for you. I am the last alien king. In our ancient language, my name means ruler in dark times. I can imagine no darker time than the end of the alien people. 